welcome to Shaping Memories and welcome to the Daily Chronicle. So today is March 9th and today is discover what your name means today. What does your name mean? Why some names have meanings, some there's got to be a reason you got your name. So take the time to research the origin and history of your name today. Even if your name has no specific meaning, it was bestowed upon you. So, and for many people, having been named is a very powerful in itself. So find out what your name means. All right, our first article is called Whatchamacallit. Whatchamacallit. So we call them pieces, tokens, pawns, even game thingamajigs or thingajigs. But the little piece representing your player on a tabletop board game now has a name, an official name, and that name is Meeple. Meeple. How did we get Meeple? Well, the word was coined in 2000 by game player Allison Hansel. During a game, she called her token a Meeple, a portmanteau of the word my and people, her Meeple. So, Many people do point out, though, that it's kind of close to the word, uh, a German word called Popel. It's P-O-P-P-E-L. And that they first started using that in uh, the game tokens for in the 1970s and 1980s. But now we have the word Meeple, and it was coined in, coined in 2000 for your little game piece. That's an interesting fact. All right, we now have a riddle. Riddle me this. A horse, I love riddles. Riddles are always a play on word or you gotta figure it out somehow. So, a horse is on a 24 foot chain and wants an apple that is 26 feet away. But the, hor but the horse gets the apple. How? So think about that for a minute, okay? All right, my next article is called Where Am I? So this is something else to think about. Where am I? I'm gonna describe, we have a, um, we play another game called Who, What, or Where Am I? Where I give you a ton of clues and then I give you the answer later on because you start to figure it out. But this is just a short little paragraph. So try to figure out where am I talking about? I am high atop one of the world's most recognizable landmarks in the secret apartment of the monument's architect. The interior looks so dramatically different from the metal structure outside. The walls are covered in wallpaper and the furniture is upholstered in delicate cotton fa fabrics. There are wooden cabinets and even a grand piano. Esteemed guests used to be hosted here, including inventor Thomas Edison. Today, this place is largely closed to the public. Where am I? So think about that for a minute. Where am I? So let's get back to that riddle. So the riddle was a horse is on a 20 foot chain and wants an apple that is 26 feet away. But the horse gets the apple. How? Well, the answer is the chain is not attached to anything. <laughs> so you have... <laughs> So the horse is on that chain, but the chain's not attached to anything, so he can just go and get his apple. All right, let's find out what else happened on this day many years back. All right, so on this date, March 9th, in, in 1776, economist Adam Smith published The Wealth of Nations, one of the first books on the nature of world economy. In 1832, on this date, Abraham Lincoln announced his candidacy for the Illinois State Legislature. On his eighth, lost. But within 30 years, he became president of the United States. So don't ever give up. And in 1959, the Barbie doll made its debut at the American International Toy Fair in New York. Barbie was modeled after the German Lily doll originally a racy gag gift sold in tobacco shops. Wow. So, um, we have a lot of trivia today. I have a trivia about a Barbie doll, but let's get back to the where am I, where, where am I? So if you had thought, I didn't even know this place exists, but if you had said, um, Gustave Eiffel's secret apartment in
in the Eiffel Tower? You would have gotten that correct. I never knew that there was a secret apartment in the Eiffel Tower, but apparently there is. And some people have been there. So that's what I was describing, a secret apartment in the Eiffel Tower. All right, now I have a Barbie trivia. It's called Built to Last. The man who helped design Barbie had what job before producing toys? I think a lot of you might out there know this, but the man who produced Barbie, who helped design Barbie, I'm sorry, had what job before producing toys? Was he a missile engineer, a spy, or an interrogator? Wow, which one was he? Though all three are kind of exciting. So think about that for a second. All right, every day here at Shaping Memories, we have someone's birthday. It's either someone famous, inventor, scientist, it could be anybody. But so today, happy birthday to Mickey Spillane, Spillane, Mickey Spillane. He lived from 1918 to 2006. He began his career writing comic books, developing adventures for Captain America, Superman, and Batman. The day after the attack on Pearl Harbor, he enlisted in the Army Air Corps. After he married his wife, he wrote the novel, I, the Jury, in just 19 days to help pay for their house. That novel featuring Detective Mike Hammer was an instant hit. Spillane's book remained popular throughout the decade. Since his death, five additional manuscripts have been made into books. Wow, he's very, he's, he's quite a writer. Um, he has the quote of the day and his quote is, authors want their names down in history. I want to keep the smoke coming out of the chimney. That is from Mike, Mickey Spillane. So he just wanted to keep working, definitely. All right, built to last. So what was the man who did help design Barbie? What was his job before producing toys? So if you had said a missile engineer, you would be correct. Wow, that go from missile engineer to producing, to designing a Barbie doll. That's that, that tells you, you can do anything, whatever you want to do out there, you can do it. All right, so there's a few other things we celebrate on this day, May, March 7th. It is Registered Dietitian Nutri Nutritionist Day. Ooh, Registered Dietitian Nutri Nutritionist Day is today. Uh, today, as I had said before, is Happy Birthday Barbie. It's her birthday, and uh, she's one of the world's most famous dolls. Today is also, I love this, today is Ford Mustang Day. For any of you that know me personally, you know that I had a Ford Mustang when I was a lot younger. And today is the day that the Ford um, production of the first Ford Mustang in 1964. I had a 1965. Those are some cool cars. They're still made today and still love them today. And today is also Cosmonaut Day. Today is the birth anniversary of Yurgi Gagarin. He was born in 1934 and you ask, well, who's that? Well, he was the first man to travel in space. So those are our special days today. This was the Daily Chronicle. I hope you enjoyed all the articles, all the fun facts we did today. And remember, if you get the chance today, look up and see what your name means, because that's what today is. Okay, so I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and above all, stay very safe. I will see you again soon. Take care.